Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is our ICE News Analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufa. Good, Good morning, Rufa. Victoria Tundu, MK Abiola. Good morning. Yes. Let's start the review quickly with Nigeria's newspaper of record this day. The list story scores feared kidnapped in terrorist daredevil raid on Kaduna train. Survivors speak of their ordeals. Say they saw her, prayed and prayed. Buhari, no one will hold us to ransom others military to be ruthless with terrorists. Amechi confirms it dead. 41 hospitalized. 362 passengers on board. TUC, NMA, MBA, NBTE suffer casualties. Bank of Agriculture, MD, Hassan, Nice, others still missing. Life is near worthless under APC. President says PDP. Yes, the terrorist attack on the Kaduna bound train, hogging the headlines of most Nigerian newspapers. And of course, the New Telegraph newspaper reporting that story Kaduna train attack. Terrorists target VIP coach investigation, forced their way in, screaming in what sounded like Arabic eyewitness. Kaduna State Government confirms eight dead, 26 injured, several unaccounted for. Bandits bomb Gyeongdam train station in fresh attack. Track down terrorists. Rescue kidnapped victims. Buhari orders security agencies. Senate demands full-scale war on terrorists. House soldiers on board saved passengers. Senator Quarry. The Daily Independent newspaper also reported the story, Abuja Kaduna train attack. Workers' Union blames railway management. Eight bodies recovered, 26 persons injured, several abducted. Senate asked Buhari to declare full-scale war on bandits. Yes, according to the story, the National Union of Railway Men, NURO, has said that the management of the Nigerian Railway Corporation disregarded its advice on suspension of ninth train service till the security situation in the country improves. Well, that seemed to be a no-brainer. In the wake of what has just happened, even before we can get all the equipment to fully secure the train services, it will be it's an advisory that perhaps nine services should be suspended for now. And that's what the real men, National Union of Real Men are saying. Well, perhaps the management of the Nigerian Railway should listen to them. The Guardian newspaper shock as terrorists launch another train attack in 24 hours. Buhari to service chiefs, be more decisive. Don't spare anyone unlawfully Welding AK-47 rifle. Amechi, government slow procurement process led to loss of life in Abuja Kaduna train. Well, this looks like excuses all over the all the way. This president's uh, directive about AK-47. I'm sure if somebody Googles that, you see that that instruction has been given many times before. And for those so, talking about government processes, then I wonder, Ruben, what do people do at FEC if they cannot solve hurdles that go with government processes to ensure that these trains are secure? We cannot be crying from the rooftop after the deed has been done. But we just look at the Daily Trust newspaper uh, quickly. Now, the same lead story, but I just look at it. another story above the mast, just below the masthead. Oil wind fall. Algeria pays jobless citizens as Nigerians spend on subsidy. 
Yes, how not to use your oil windfall. That's what that story. Any unemployed Algerians are being paid 38,000 Naira equivalent, according to that report. Why Nigeria spends its Even own... Even more than minimum wage. <laughs> why Nigeria spends its own oil windfall to subsidize the importation of refined petroleum product. Now, the nation newspaper, the same lead story, but we just look at a story above the... The story is above the masthead of the nation newspaper. 44 constituent review bills for houses of assembly. Yes, now time for the houses of assembly to also make their input into the constitutional review pro process. At least two thirds of the 36 houses of assembly must concur with the decisions of the National Assembly for it to be, um, for the amendment to be carried uh, into the constitution. While the other story just above the masthead, PDP zoning battles shifts to autumn committee. Aspirants engage proxies. Well, perhaps this zoning issue may either make or mar the PDP ahead of the 2003 elections. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly. The Times of London, Russians promise to ease Kiev onslaught. Britain and U.S. cast doubt on Putin's intentions. Yes, Russia is promising to drastically reduce hostilities against Ukrainian cities of Kiev and Chernihiv after peace talk raised the prospect of direct ceasefire negotiation between President Zelensky and President Putin. So we hope that will be the case because some Russian uh, armored vehicles are also seen moving north towards Belarus. The Daily Telegraph also reporting Russians give up on conquest of Kiev, Putin to withdraw troops with focus on Donbas as Ukraine offer neutrality deal. But another story on the front page of the Daily Telegraph. Yes, Tundu, if you are expecting to hear the name of the Prime Minister among those fined by the Metropolitan Police for lockdown breaches. You won't hear his name because the story there met hiding behind rules by not identifying party gate offenders. Police have been accused of hiding behind privacy rules introduced in the wake of the Levinson inquiry, despite being told that they are free to name those fined, those who breached the lockdown. Well, if any, so you unfortunately, not, yes. we're trying to manage time. Oh, yes. So there won't be time to discuss the issues. I would have loved to have your take on uh, the outing of the super uh, chickens. Uh, uh, the super uh, eagles. More, better known as the super eagles. Yes. Uh, yesterday. You know that music? Party after party. Party right. after party. Party after no. party. Yeah. Party, yeah. party. No, look, party after see, party. That's the difference yeah. between a genuine superstar. Anyway, I'm not I'm told we bring have to in go. players. And then the number, the number of the persons on that uh, Kaduna tragic train. Uh, Samuel Arwan from Kaduna State said 398 boarded, uh, 398 board tickets, 362 were confirmed, but that there were over 970 people. Are we also dealing in this matter with ticket racketeering? We definitely are. Yeah. That may be one area. That's Obviously. Obviously. Anyway, thank you very much, Emmanuel. <laughs>